Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk. I'm Kelted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online, and today we're Elastic Band from Belgium. We're the black player. We're going to be playing a map you've probably never seen before. It's not a newer map, but it's a very unique and interesting map, and it is a fun one. So we're going to hopefully have a good game on it today. We're playing the Younger Scrolls. We're going to be playing Fixed on the Younger Scrolls World Domination. Standard fixed world dom on, on this map. We're going to have alliances on and blizzards on. No fog and no portals. We're the black player. We can take a look at the map now. I like my hold for this little bottom right bonus. You can see red and purple may fight over here for this one. I'm going to show you the bonuses now. Right, there's a three. There's In the top left, there's a four in the bottom right corner. And then there's a bunch of fives. A couple sixes, a seven, and an eight. <clears throat> See how it goes. Our opponents are going to be Sengo from Germany. We've got Kowalski, the goat from the United States of America. We've got General Tour, the Spanish flag. It's been a minute since I played with one of those. And looks like Pink's going to be trying to take that upper plus three right away. Does he roll the four on two? Not necessarily the best choice, but he might just do it because who knows? No, he's chilling. He's the goat. He understands. We're also playing against Zalay from North Korea, or at the very least, repping the North Korean flag. And we've got Starlot Riziko from the United States as well. We're repping Belgium. Blue's going to be coming down here to screw up this. Damn it. I don't like that. That's, uh... I get four troops. Like, this is a bonus I should probably go for right now. <clears throat> what bonus should I go for? This plus five? I have to hit this red three, which is bad for me. But it gets him out of here, and then he's probably going to go in here and hit purple. Red and purple go last, right? Red's going to get five troops, purple's going to get six. I predict red adds in here, hits, and purple adds and goes back. Um, I think I accept green's alliance. I think I go in here. And I just start... I, I can't fight in here. I'm just going to go for this bonus, and hopefully this three does me good. I need a great dice roll on this three. Oh, I am the unluckiest man in the world. Okay, we're going to come up. We're going to do one four on one. I'm going to bring the two in. I'm going to aim to take this bonus next turn. This bonus is a plus five if I get it. We did, did see Red's going to do the bongo bongo over here. Yeah, he hits a two and loses nothing. Rolls a six on three. Only loses one. It's not even a 100% blitz roll. Rolls a four on two. It's a 75% blitz roll and only loses one. So this man... Hits a 2, a 3, and a 2, starting with 6 attacking troops. And he loses 2 total troops. Meanwhile, your boy over here... Where, where am I going? Your boy over here starts with 7 attacking troops, just bango, loses 3 immediately. What the dice? <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, purple... Yeah, so purple added with his 6 troops. He's like, no, screw you, red. That was very aggressive. So red and purple die together, right? They both got five and six troops to start the turn. They should have the most troops at the end of turn one. And look at them. 13 and 15. They're donezoed. Oh. Okay, so I should be able to take this, right? I'll, I'll have a seven here. I hit the purple two and then the pink one. Hopefully my neighbors aren't going to fight me. Blue go is going to finish this bonus. As long as he rolls a five on two and it succeeds. Right? Like, Blue's going to get three troops. He's going to put three in Oakenest. Hit red tulip. Roll a five on two. Very interesting looking map, right? With the way the bonuses are. I can technically four point one two three point guard my plus five. It looks like a face. Am I am I am I high? Look at it, it's a face. With like a, a steel plate in the back of their head, so you're bulletproof in the back of your head. And then this is the forehead, and it comes out. They're wearing a helmet, maybe? And there's the nose, the little mouth. This is, a, this is a human. Okay. Interesting. Intradasting. Five on two. Lose it. Lose a bad roll. Please. No, of course not. <laughs> I only take 100% blitz rolls and the dice screw me. Everybody takes rando stuff and it's it's gangbusters the best thing in the world. I'm going to lose two troops on this too. I already know. <laughs> Let me complain. I'm having fun. Uh, okay, it worked. Offer blue an alliance. 
Oh, the Spanish player. Let's see if I can hold that, right? I offered blue and alliance. He accepted it. I'm going to give him a thumbs up. If we can work together, that's great. Five on three. He's going to lose nothing because that's the way. Oh, wait. Oh, he's a blah, 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 blah. He pops pink. That's even better now. Pink's pissed at red. Red's pissed at purple. Purple's pissed at red. Everybody's mad over there. That leaves me with green, who only gets three troops. Doesn't have a way to break me. So the only person that really... It all comes down to... Does the Spanish player put it in, or does he relax? Oh, fingers crossed. We're playing fixed. We've got a dude, we've got a cavalry, and we're looking for the old cannon. Of course, dudes are guards, cavalry are now centaurs, and cannons are now cannons with one less N. Okie doke. Purple has potentially quit the game because of the turn one. Red literally killed seven of his troops on turn one, stole his boat. No, he's here. F you, Red. This is good. I just need to get strong here. Blue might expand up here. But he doesn't really... Like, it's awkward for Blue to get maybe Windmire. Maybe it'll take him two or three turns to get that. I'm going to look to take uh, Woden Vale. One, two. Yeah, I could four-point guard all of these bonuses. Wait, how did he have a 10? Did he have a, a big stack there? Or he started with four. He had a six, I guess. He had a lot of territories. Okay, so if he takes that bonus beside blue, they might be a little bit of uh, a little bit of heat there. If you're looking at these two bonuses, if I hold them both, I can guard here, 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 and this little bottom left corner. I can four point guard two plus fives. With enough territories to be more than 12. So it's basically like a a plus 11, right? If I have more than 12 territories also. <laughs> so I'll get like 14 troops if I can hold both bonuses for one turn. Um, yep, Blue's going to roll out his 3-1. He's going to make this even easier. We're going to be so strong. Purple didn't even overextend in here. He didn't even take a card. He just stacked there and he's like, no, 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 I'll wait. Don't worry, I will wait. So I'm going to three-point guard this and make it stronger. Yeah, I think this is okay. So that's my three-point guard. Um, I'm going to bring my two to my three, maybe? Or my three to my two. Two to the three. This two I can't really bring in. All right. We have the big trade on three. This stuff has happened. That's a cannon with one N. If you want a better cannon, you have to put a second N in, and then it functions better. Yeah. Learn your histories. All right. Very unique game here. I'm allied with a Spanish player, and it so far it's going well. Purple and red hate each other. Pink retakes. He doesn't have to hit red. He can just retake and chill. Red doesn't know. Yeah. The North Korean player went absolutely... Come on, bro. Okay. He went absolutely nuts on purple, then he went absolutely nuts on pink, and now he's got nothing going on. Now you have two enemies for no reason. <laughs> I'm sure he could have found a better turn one solution. Maybe hit the first purple two and then big stack there and try to force purple out, or maybe the play was to stack up here and slowly work this bonus. Or or like maybe there's there's there was probably other plays for him. Like, this bonus wasn't very contested, the plus five beside me, so maybe he could have moved over there. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look at his position again. But now Purple's... Yeah. Purple's entire goal... I actually don't dislike Purple's play. I think they're playing smart. Purple got suicided, although except they missed one card. But they essentially got suicided. Punished them back, but now they're keeping a big stack. Instead of over-attacking a bunch and leaving a bunch of ones, they're keeping a big stack. Green has 34 troops, and they haven't even held a bonus yet. They got 5 for 15 territories. Give, yeah. This is scary. Sounds to me hard. Pink is early trading with the dude trade. Don't hit my 4. Huh. 
Okay. <clears throat> well, that was dumb. Are you, like, is Pink's gonna over-aggress taking Helmfulner? And I presume people aren't gonna let him hold all of that. He's not even gonna finish it this turn. You hit my four for no reason. If you're Pink and you're doing all that, A, you don't trade the dudes on three cards. Because you can still get a big trade if you get decent cards. And B, take a card on somewhere else. Let me, I was moving my four out. You didn't have to hit the four. I was moving it out. Blue's popping green. Oh. Dude, you're too close to the Spain player. You know why he's allied with me? I'm over here. You're too close. You're way too close. I have a big trade. I can actually do a bunch of stuff. I can do mental stuff, right? I can't kill red because this is too much work. Um, I could kill red, but that is too much work. I'm going to trade. Unless, where's the plus two? Uh, nah, nah, nah. We'll trade. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. A seven seven eight guarding a ten here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the less threatening slow expand. I don't wanna over greed and take too many bonuses too quick. Blue has just started a fight with green. Right? I want green, and now red's going in the back there to hide to try not to die on four cards, I think. But I want green and his cards to go into blue now because of what he did. Pop pop. And then blue's cards to go back into green, and then if they trade their sets into each other while breaking each other's bonuses while I just hold the one bonus. I'm going to grow so big that I can hold both of these bonuses without worrying about them. They'll know they can't mess with me. Because now look. It, it's very clear what this is. What's going to happen right here. You know what? It would have been absolutely hilarious and it would have sucked. If I'm like, it's very clear what's going to happen right here. And he just runs left and just rambunks me. Oh, <laughs> would have been the best. It would have came out of absolutely nowhere. Would have absolutely shocked the hell out of me. He still doesn't have this bonus. He's just guarding his plus three and building. So I'm 26 and he's already traded. I'm on 38. I'm going to get, what, eight more? I'll be on 46. Blue trades, he gets this plus two here, which means he's got a three in my bonus now, which is a little unfortunate. Oh, that three on one fails. This three on two? Oh, yes! He's going to slow roll it, too. Yeah, look at this! Yeah! I love you, David. You're my... And you don't open this to go into me. Set him a heart. Blue has access to me, but green stack doesn't. And green doesn't have his bonus, and he didn't... Green didn't retaliate on blue and didn't take his bonus back. He's just sitting there with the 24. Okay, I'm going to go... Like this. 10, 10, 10, 10. I could maybe kill somebody, or like, I could have probably... Like, if I'm in a single stack, I could do things differently, but... I'm doing something different. If red trades on this three and punches me, I'll be a little sad. Or on this two. He trades. I'm only slowly expanding. I'm not doing anything over-aggressive. I have 45 troops. Blue's on 42. Green's on 45, even after the break and stuff. Oh, purple's gonna get whooped. No, he runs away! Oh my god, I thought he was hitting that for Sherzies. Right into pink! Fuck you, pink! Fuck you! <laughs> Dude, are you actually gonna hit the- You're not hitting the five. There is no way in hell you're hitting an eight on five right now. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. What is this game? I absolutely love you, Red. I want to have your babies. Uh, wait, no, no. I want you to have my babies. <laughs> I, 
Oh my god. Purple's gonna take this bonus. If purple doesn't trade though, pop, 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 da ding. I kill him for four, right? He's not gonna take the bonus. If he did take the bonus, I'd probably have an easier chance killing him. But now I've gotta make this a uh, 18, 16 on 13, and then the 10 comes up. The four is in the way. No, it comes back. Do I go for a purple kill? It's very aggressive if I do. Oh, I think my answer has been made for me. Blue could go for the purple kill, but his 18 has to do like a full on reach around, which it makes it easy. If blue doesn't do that though, I have the purple kill for free. Yeah, he, he can just add here and actually pop, pop, pop. Yeah, okay, he's going for it, but this five on one, four on one, three on one, this could, he loses a single troop here. He has to, he's got, of course, my opponents never lose a single troop when it matters. Of course. Wait, the six is going to be awkward. Hit the hit the two with that. If he does, then he's already blocked his 18 from coming up without doing a full reach around. Three on one fail. Oh, I get it. When the dice matters, it happened. He's going to still go for it. He's got to do like a full reach around. Like, you've got to be fast. One, two, three. You can't, because the blizzards, you can't get through the blizzards. You can't, you just won't make it. Fortify, go back, go home. You know, things are looking up. I'm not even going to take this bonus. I'm not even going to take the bonus. I do not want to be too aggressive right now. I want to go, I'm going to kill purple, and then I'm going to trade, and I'm going to come right back home. I think that's the play. Boom! Big big trade, right? Big boy trade. Oh, yes. With a plus two somewhere. Of course not. Sure. Whatever. Nice and slow movement. 64 troops with the all big trade again. Wow! Isn't this a cool map though? If you've never played this map, I highly recommend it. It is called the Younger Scrolls. I, I forget what map pack it's in. Now he just going to Pink's bonus. I mean, maybe I should have killed Pink too. I mean, a, a smart, intelligent grandmaster, top of the line, previous tournament winner. Uh, Sigma male mindset, grind set kind of player would have definitely killed pink after purple, right? Well, green can do whatever the hell he wants now. I think he's going to kill pink. I have not been over aggressive, so I don't think he's going to hit me, but he could. I think he's going to go for the kill split and then go up. I think he wants the pink three cards. I'm going to give him a thumbs up. I want him to know that I approve of this message. Oh, man. We're going into the end game, and I'm going to be a monster dad. And green stack might get trapped, depending on what he does. Imagine he ran out of time. Blue would get it then. Or pink might even trade on three. Okay. Bye-bye, Kowalski the goat. Taking that rank five in the game. Oh, yeah, I didn't give him a trade, so his now... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Red, you want to ally me and go hit green, bro? I know. Red's a nutcase. Red's still in the game. You think he pops green's bonus? Because I do. <laughs> oh, he pops green's bonus but doesn't open the 23 would be nice to see. Now, blue's going to hit a bunch of green out of here because he wants this bonus. Does he just take the bonus? That is so aggressive. Green might be so pissed about that. But he, but he doesn't care. He's General Toure from Spain. He doesn't give a fuck. Dude, he's rolling everything. So I could go right into him, or I could give him a thumbs up. I'll give him a thumbs up. I have a lot of troops.
I'm going to talk green. I'm sorry I need to hit your territory. Give him a, a heart. He gives me a thumbs up. Okay. I lose no troops there. That was good. Red may trade on three with that bonus, so that might actually be a problem for me. So I'm going to make this a bigger number. Just in case. Red did now, I mean, but there's no way he doesn't break green, right? Oh, he's going to break blue. That's okay. Break either of them. Green never broke blue after the first time blue broke him, right? Blue broke green the first time. Green never broke him back. So now blue took this from green, assuming green's just going to bend over again. At some point, letting somebody bully you around a little bit is smart, depending on the opponents and, and the board layout. But some, but if, if you consistently show somebody that they can bully you, then uh, they're going to keep doing it, right? So there needs to be a line where it's... It, you have to make a line clear, like a don't fuck with me line. You pass me, you pass this line, we die. There always has to be that line. You can't always roll over for the benefit of trying to make it to the late game because people will take advantage of that. If I see a player incredibly passive, I will bully and bully and bully till that when they suicide me, they have nothing to even hurt me with. So there needs to be a bit of our, our alliance is over. No! No! Why? Red says well played. He's gonna break both of my bonuses. I... okay. Well, now Blue's gonna get destroyed. I have more troops than him. By a considerable amount. I just go through this and I smack him. Good luck. Good luck. That was dumb. We were allied and now look what you did. Okie dokie. Stupid move. Hmm. Okay, blue. Okay. You know what? You're the Spain player, so I, I understand why you did it. But it's going to hurt. Yeah, I accept your alliance request. Suck it. Suck it. This is what happens. You screwed around. Now you find out. You screwed around, and now you find it. You know what I mean? Fuck around, find out. <clears throat> Red's gonna hit me now. I have a 23 and 8 and an 8. I'm gonna hold the one bonus, though. He will break this one. Okay, so can green work th with me on black? Oops. No, no, sorry. On, 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 uh, on attack red, attack blue. And a thumbs up. He breaks the one bonus. Blue is dead now. You see what blue did there? He has 22 troops. That's what happens when you break an alliance wrong at the wrong time. Blue has essentially ended his game with that one move. He could bully green around. He could bully other people around. He could press purple around. He could do whatever he wants. The second he turned on me, his game's over because I, I was already too strong. Right? He'd already picked a couple fights, and I was just in a dominant position to be like, no, no, no. And and there's no there's no let him off the hook so he gets the bonus again. No, that was a, you need to send a message and end his game. Because if I let him stay in the game and he keeps fighting me, I lose. Right? If I let him hold that plus four and, and a whole whack of territories, and now all of a sudden he's getting a, a whole bunch of troops and still has an 11 stack, he's going to hit me again and feel confident to do that. Now he's, he's dead. His game's over. 
Now I, I'm in a I'm in a weaker spot. I have to deal with this green player. I have to hope Redhead's green. Revenge, thanks. Is he gonna hit the green player? He does. So he's still going into green now. And blue says good luck. So he's probably quitting. I can't kill blue. Oh, I wish the three on one worked and then the two on one worked to break both bonuses, but red maybe does it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that enough to take all of that? Feed green. Uh, feed blue to green, maybe? His 23 is trapped. His 26 is open. This is what you get, blue. Your game is over. I'm gonna do a different fortify. Because red might break me anyways, no matter what I do. He might come through one of my eights. So I'm gonna back off. If red comes through and breaks the back, that's fine. I have to accept it. No trade on four is actually very bad. I'm I'm already picturing how to beat green, right? Red and blue should die really quickly. I'm trying to picture how can I beat green. Red won't ally me and I can't... It, I wish I could cancel the alliance request, send it again. Because I need to work with him on green now. Give green a thumbs up. Like, ideally red is breaking green. But the thing is, green's been letting him hold this plus three. So there's a little bit of goodwill built up there. And probably that's why red's hitting me. Does he bot? If he bots, I get to hold. I get to hold one bonus, um, not both. Unless blue trades on this one and comes in, but I think green kills blue here. I wouldn't be surprised if he kills blue, takes his trade. <laughs> yeah, so I might get third, I might get second, and on an outside shot I get first. I think green wins. Oh, if he bots and the bot swung, that would be so good. So he bought it and the bot didn't attack. If it swung here, that would have helped. Because that's a big boost of troops. That plus six is so good for green. Right? He's got 12 troops to place. Uh, he could have a 38 stack. This could do serious damage. He's going to kill blue. He's going to hit me now. Yeah, okay. So green sees. Red and blue are done. He just needs to beat me. So he's going to beat me. So green's a good player. He recognized. Blue turning on me fucked me so hard. Spanish flag. Such a good map, though. <clears throat> Bro, no. Hmm. Is there a world in which I can beat green? If he traps his stacks and I do a double kill? If he traps his stacks, I do a double kill and break all of his bonuses. Or not a double kill. I kill blue for four. Blue's bought it, has a big trade on three. That's going into green, though. Uh, it may, if, if it, I hope it breaks this bonus, too. Then I have a better chance at this. With two bots, I have a chance, right? I am 30 troops behind. Okay, this three on one needs to roll, too. Please, this three on one needs to roll. Of course it doesn't. <clears> oh. <throat> Knock his 12 out, and knock this one out. Hmm. 11, 10, 9, 8, pop. No, that's not enough. Good dice. Not terrible. Uh, 
That's a six, right? I think. Try to hold that from blue. If green can't break me. Oh, I have the second worst trade. I have the cavalry. I might actually get fourth here, to be honest, because blue traded on three. If blue took a fourth card, didn't trade, I would have been able to kill blue, punch a bunch of green without opening his stacks. And then maybe if red hits him too, then I'm going into a 1v1 at a disadvantage, but with a bot hitting him. And I might have board position and a, and a position where I can hold bonuses where he can't break them is ideally what I needed. It needs to not open his 23. It didn't open. Oh, the 23. I opened the 23, actually. Now that I see it. There was no way to do that. I needed to come up and hit Dragon Light. I fucked up. Okay, the 29 comes out. I lose. Now I lose. I, I, I didn't see. That's actually the pathing right there, right? I didn't see that came Thentha to Roheim. It's also why people botting out ruins games. It's unfortunate, right? Like we had a four-player game, and immediately these guys are dead and bought out. So all of a sudden, it's a one-player game, and whoever's in the advantageous spot in that 1v1 just wins. And he recognized it, and he just wins. Like, a lot of the time, it's okay to let somebody get strong, because a lot of the times they're fighting somebody, or they're going to use it to eliminate a player. Right? So if you're second or third in troops, it's fine if somebody else is far ahead of you. But as soon as you let that happen and everybody else bots out, you instantly lose the game. It's it's not fucking fun. God damn it! This was such a good game, man. Like, now I'm actually just going to get fourth. Blue and red are going to get more than me. Okay. Thumbs up. Attack blue. Attack red. Thumbs up. You win. Thumbs up back. Okay. I can't beat him. He's 41 with five cards. I have no chance. So I need to uh, hit blue and red. I'm showing him, like, uh, you win. I'm just going to suicide into blue and red. He can take first, I hope, and then give me second. Now I get the bigger trade. It's, it's this like, this one's over. If I had the big trade that turn, maybe I would have kept fighting, but I, I didn't see a way to win. <clears throat> My way to win was blue not having a big trade on three and having a, taking a fourth card and letting me, so I could kill blue and set the board up in a way where green couldn't retaliate for a turn while I get a couple bonuses. And then the troop gap closes, and I get attacker's advantage on him. That was my win opportunity. Like, I'm hoping... He might just thumbs up and kill me anyways and give me fourth. I'm hoping I get second out of this. He gets the dude trade. Three dudes. Oh, it looks like he's gonna hit red. Good. Thumbs up, yeah. Like he, I, I'm not breaking his bonus. He's got 55 troops to my 16. I'm going to keep hitting blue. The red bot even did a reach around slap to kill my four stack. What the hell, man? What in the hell? He didn't actually break my bonus either. So I could use this bonus to kill blue for three cards in trade. And then I'm going to ram that into red. Like I've, I could try some fancy shenanigan bullshit at the end here to, uh, to like steal a first and then I might uh, like, but there's no, there's no first here. Blue's actually just going to come down and break my bonus. Awesome. Uh, the bots are absolutely AIDS right now. <laughs> Not even a hope in hell, man. No. No trade. No trade? No trade! Does it even matter? He's got so many more troops. He can kill all of us. Which is what I... I needed... As soon as you're super lost, and there's two bots, the Alliance can help you get second, right? So here's here's a little bit of a learning opportunity. Um, 
I, I don't think we could learn too much about, like, I'm okay to let Green get ahead of me, but as soon as they both bought and his turn's attacked first, well, he's already got an advantage. There's not much I can do about that. He's gonna, if he recognizes the win opportunity, in his shoes, I would always win. So, in his shoes, if he knows what he's doing, he's always gonna win there. Nothing you can really do there. But I, using a bit of alliances to hopefully get yourself a second place here is, is definitely a good idea. He's gonna kill blue. And that helps. I say thanks. I'm sending I'm sending him the thanks. I I'm gonna sit in the corner and do nothing. He's not even gonna break my bonus. He's so far ahead he doesn't care if I get the plus four. Or he's gonna trade and break it, but whatever. Yeah, now, like, he's got 67 to 15 and 29. You do the math. He's won the game, and he recognizes it. So Sengo333, however you pronounce it, from Germany. He's a good player. Probably reasonably high ranked. I'd give him... Like, he could be master or grandmaster, depending, right? It's hard to tell the way people play. Because sometimes you... If you're a more skilled opponent, you're going to try to hide that, right? Mask it a little bit. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to do anything. Good game. Right, he put the 15 here just in case I try to betray him and steal first. There is no first. There is no world in which my 23 with no trade beats his 66, right? But he put the 15 there just in case I tried something. And if I tried something, I would get third. I'm showing him... I concede, I put the nine in the corner, I'm accepting it. He can still give me third, it depends if he wants to be a dick or not, but so far he's been showing that, okay, you know what? Like, cause I got dealt a rough hand here, right? If the situation's reversed and the other two players bought out and I get a free win over green, I'm gonna give green second also. So I respect him for, for doing this. It's the same thing I would do, it's the honorable thing to do. Because we had a real game. There was a real four-player game. And people quitting actually ruined the end of the game. All right. I'm trying not, I'm trying not to be too down about it. I, I wanted to win this game. I wanted to have a fun, exciting end game. But we kind of got to just hold on and give me my second place, bro. Thank you. Oh, no. He trapped his stack. Maybe he's not as good as I thought. But he's respectful enough to do this, right? And I'm not going to waste time. I'm accepting my defeat. He has trapped the stack a few times. So he I would say he's probably a master. Or maybe he's a grandmaster on his settings. And he saw these as fun settings and thought he would hop into them, right? Could be any of the above. Seven probably comes up and opens a 16. May just attack down, though. Nice. Well, anybody joining to the end of the video, by the way, please subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, we're nearing our way to 5,000. Which is absolutely incredible. 5,000 people. Like, it already blows my mind that most of my videos get 5,000. 5,000 views. Thousands. Like, imagine standing in a, in a room with, like, 10 people watching you talk. That's intimidating, man. Just 10 people standing and you're on a microphone or something. Just 10 people just staring at your face while you're talking. That's crazy. 10 people's crazy. I grew up incredibly socially anxious, man, and just, like, terrified of being in my own skin. So, like, to be... I'm 35 now, so I'm over all that, but to be able to talk and communicate and share a game and an experience with all of you, it is uh, I, something I never would have imagined for myself. So, I'm very happy that you're all here, and I appreciate you all. We're going to die honorably. Right? It, there is there is something sweet about accepting your defeat when it is there and dying honorably. Die like a man. Right? It's one thing you can't escape is death. Unless, like, Bezos or e Elon comes up with a way to, like, merge our minds into a computer in the future. Be kind of cool. Give him the dab.
Good job, green player. Good win. Our boy Sango giving us the second place. I think we earned it. We we got robbed because of the two people quitting. I think that is a problem. Uh, a lot of people just quit. And, and it ruins a lot of the games, right? Like, if you're quitting a game, you're not just leaving a game and being like, cool. You're actually changing everything for the remaining players in the game, right? You can ruin other people's games just by joining a game and leaving it at the wrong time. And whatever, fair play to you. If you're you're a you're a human and you don't want to play something that you started playing, you have every right to leave. It's just there is a problem with people leaving games a little too frequently. And it's a little frustrating. So green is master. I predicted that very accurately. Good game to him. Congratulations, sir. Pink intermediate, Kowalski the goat. Blue is a novice, not surprised. Our boy from Spain. Hit he betrayed me at the worst time, man. And we got a beginner. It was uh, the North Korea boy. Red and purple was intermediate. Novice, beginner, intermediate, intermediate, and master. No experts and no grandmasters. Unless you count me as a grandmaster. Thank you once again, everybody, for joining me on my channel and on this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe check out my Discord down below if you want to stay up to date with more things. And if you want better notifications. I have a second channel and Eclipse channel as well. You can find those links below. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.